Okay, in this video, we are going to be talking about letter of medical necessity for growth hormone treatment. Growth hormone is extremely expensive. So when the insurance companies are processing this information, they want to make sure they're making growth hormone available for the right patient because they don't want to be paying for something that the child does not need. So it is up to us to make sure that all the information is available. And remember, this is a partnership between you and our team. What is required of you? You need to know enough information about your insurance. You need to know what is covered, what is not covered. You want to know what your copay is for this or what your um, uh, portion of insurance we have to pay. Say, for example, in some insurances, a 20%, 80%, so on and so forth. So make sure you learn enough. And then you follow through with the uh, insurance companies as well. We usually have a um, medical uh, supplies company which will be supplying all this growth hormone for you. However, um, make sure you know the exact process. In one of the following videos, you will be learning about what the process entails. So let me talk about the medical part of this. So what I will do will be writing a letter of medical necessity and calculating the dose of growth hormone for your child while we are starting the growth hormone. That's where my job ends. After which my staff will take over to process this information and send it over to the insurance company. And then when we get the growth hormone, we, we bring you in for a growth hormone training. Remember, there's no guarantee growth hormone will be approved by the insurance company. Many a times uh, they might ask us uh, a second time, we might have to appeal, so on and so forth. Sometimes the case might be uh, something we can appeal, sometimes we may not be able to appeal. Um, you will learn more about the process with some of the process videos which we will be uh, adding on to this entire portfolio. In the next video, I'll be talking about growth hormone side effects in general. Thank you.